Welcome to our next video. We're talking about statistics. We're talking about measures of dispersion. As we can see here, I want to talk about the coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation is defined as the fraction of the standard deviation divided by x bar, divided by the arithmetic mean. So look at this, for example, the statistical data of 10 values, like 0, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 6, 10, 7, and 10, leading to an x-bar, leading to an arithmetic mean of 5. So as we computed in another video, the standard deviation, the sample standard deviation was 3.399, divided by the arithmetic mean of 5 gives us 0.67. So what's the meaning of the coefficient of variation? This number indicates that the standard deviation is 60 is about is around 68% of the arithmetic mean. So if there are different data with different arithmetic means with different standard deviations, we could just look as a percentage value. The, the coefficient of variation is a percentage value. What part, what part of the arithmetic mean is the standard deviation. Look at this for example. We have two different countries, two different countries, and the currency of country A is dollar A, the currency of country B is called dollar B. So the arithmetic mean, the average income of country A would be, for example, $5,000, 5,000 A dollars, dollars of country A. Whereas the arithmetic income, the excuse me, the average income, the arithmetic mean of country B, the average income of country B would be $60,000 of country B. Now look at the standard deviations. The standard deviation of country A is $1,000. $1,000 here, $6,000 there. So at first glance, you'd say that the standard deviation, that the measure of dispersion, is larger in country B. But the standard deviation should always be looked at as a percentage value of the arithmetic mean. So as we compute the coefficient of variation, here $1,000 standard deviation is $1,000 divided by the arithmetic mean divided by $5,000 gives us 20% of country A, whereas it is only 10% in country B. So what we, what we looked at first the impression, the first impression was that the standard deviation was that the, the measure of dispersion was larger in country B, was larger in country B, but now it's larger in country A. Because if we look at it as a percentage value of the arithmetic mean, it now becomes larger in country A. And that's important for us to understand. First, we're talking about an absolute value the standard deviation is an absolute value, but if we try to conceive it as a relative value, it, is, it becomes larger here in country A. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.